Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and uh, this video is about how to become a highly functioning INTP. I want to show you how an INTP works and how you can pilot being an INTP. And I want you to understand that being an INTP, that's not uh, your subtype, that's not your environmental development, but that's your hardware. Uh, if you are an INTP, if that's your flow type, that means that you need to be an INTP to thrive. The INTP personality type gains flow from perspectives, from accuracy, from pinpointing, from gaining knowledge, from gaining understanding, from critical thinking, and from creativity. That's the four core assets an INTP needs to survive. And as an INTP, your hardware, your consciousness, your state of mind, how you process information is different from, say, the ESFJ. It's different in the sense that, first, you are a top-down processor. You take information that is in the inside and you share it with the world. That's what being an INTP is. That's gathering information and sharing it with the world. INTPs are not necessarily quiet in the sense that they do have a lot of uh, knowledge and insight that they want to share. And that's uh, the introverted process. The introverted process is about taking things on the inside and getting it out there. Beyond that, an INTP is highly sensitive. An INTP is a person that needs, um, that has a heightened response to sensory stimulation, to strong lights, strong sounds, to overwhelming sensations. And uh, this is what drives your imagination, your intuition. Uh, because thanks to your intuition, you can devise theories, perspectives, and information and patterns that can help you process sensory simulation without getting overwhelmed. Now, an INTP beyond this is a thinker. That means that they are overall more sensitive to emotional perspectives and to emotional feedback. And because they are more sensitive to it, they are also more easily hurt by it. And uh, that means that an INTP needs a strong resolve, a strong logical drive, a strong reasoning enabled to make sense to, of people and to cope with social situations. Finally, the INTP is a perceiving type. That means that the INTP is quickly interested in new possibilities and quick to jump on new options, but quick to lose interest if something new comes along. That means that INTP needs to have a steady stream of things to deal with, a steady stream of new possibilities to jump on, or they uh, become more obsessive or narrow-minded. Now, there are four critical errors an INTP can experience. The first is errors related to your overall life script. And you access your life script through your introversion and your intuition. When you have issues with your life script, that's, for example, having issues with your overarching theme of your life, who you're going to be, who you are, where you're headed in life. And uh, when you have issues with this, that's when you need to engage in philosophy the most. That's when you need to start seriously considering, who am I? Where am, why am I here? What is my overall point? Where am I headed? When... Uh, in this stage, what you're ex going to experience is first detachment and distance and then transformation, self-transformation. Uh, what introvert intuition, or sorry, what intuition and introversion gives you as an INTP is a strong perspective through which you can comprehend the world. When you master being an introvert and intuitive, what you end up doing is like you put on this kind of goggles, this kind of Google Glass that fills your head with information, that directs your eyes, that helps you manage your processing. It's like a filter, a virtual reality helmet that adds and creates and gives new components to life. And it's a helmet that helps you filter out unnecessary information, things that overwhelm you, things that will destabilize you, things that you don't need to listen to or hear. The goal of this virtual reality is that it will enhance your comprehension of the world and that it will give you perspectives on the world, that it will give you information of the world that you would miss 
if you were overly obsessed with physical reality or with what you heard and what you saw. Perspectives uh, help us tune into and muse on what's really important and to figure out what's the real, <laughs> what's of real interest as an INTP. And this virtual reality also gives you a heightened amount of energy. It gives you a bubbliness. It gives you enthusiasm. It gives you an increase in your creative drive. Another issue an INTP can have is the, with their overall acting and how they cast themselves into reality. And this is first and foremost issues with lack of creativity. Often it's issues with unhealthy fixations with order, with what your parents have told you, what, uh, you, uh, what traditions, what routines, and those overall issues. Um, INTP can, it, INTPs can struggle with uh, being overly self-disciplined in a sense, and uh, with being overly concerned with discipline at the cost of creativity. Overall, an, a strong INTP actor needs to engage and understand the, this real-time world, this real-time events, all the things happening to you at the moment, as kind of a platform game. You need to see yourself and you need to see the possibilities around you. You need to see what are the different platforms I can jump to, what are the different next steps I can take. An INTP needs to have this next step generator, active, highly active. They need to channel their creativity and their ability to brainstorm and to solve problems to be able to avoid, in particular, nervousness and fear. And a good way an INTP can develop their overall acting skills and their, how they cast themselves is through dialoguing. Dialoguing with people around you, dialoguing with uh, your environment, seeing your life as an overarching dialogue with constant interplays and nuances and multiple perspectives, multiple viewpoints. Um, Imagine all the viewpoints possible and uh, use those to drive you forward, to jump from place to place. Now, third, an INTP can have issues with their overall self-reviewing process and their evaluative process. And this is an issue with introversion and thinking. When you struggle with uh, this, what tends to be the biggest issue is uh, an over-concern with what other people think. Do other people like what I do? Do other people appreciate what I do? Do other people think I'm doing something right? Uh, with an, an unnecessary drive to discuss everything you are thinking about with everyone else and to constantly ground your thoughts with everyone else. Um, overall, what you need to tap into as an INTP to avoid being overwhelmed by other people's opinions and how other people see you is a strong sense of what is right and wrong, a heightened sense of knowledge, a heightened sense of understanding of how the world works, of what is right and what is wrong, what's correct and what's incorrect. What you need to develop your overall self-evaluation process is your trust in and your confidence in your ability to think critically about what is right and wrong without needing other people's input. Skilled INTPs are some of the most amazing critical thinkers of the world, but not all INTPs are able to tap into this, especially if they've gotten overwhelmed by other people. Finally, the biggest issue an INTP can face uh, might be uh, managing resources efficiently. It's so easy to get caught up in managing people and making sure people are doing the right thing and uh, making sure that everyone is having a good time, that everyone is functioning properly. But often uh, what you need to do as an INTP to truly tap into your overall processing is think about how you can solve problems as efficiently as possible. You use thinking perceiving when you're perfecting your environment, when you're making sure that everything is exactly at the right angle, in the right place, in the wrong, right situation, that everything is working exactly optimally as it should in, at every moment. They're making sure that uh, everything is balanced and synchronized properly, that everything is connected, that all components are <laughs> in place. Uh, no person is more capable of uh, managing and making sure that the environment is functioning optimally as the thinking perceiving types. But nothing is more prone to errors than the human factor. 
nothing is more prone to misbehaving and to acting outside of the overall script and to failing to execute properly as humans. Uh, the more you rely on humans and people management and uh, social management skills to make sure things are going to go smoothly, the more you're going to struggle and suffer as an INTP. So um, find smart ways of uh, managing these components and find ways to make sure that you're not spending too much time on people management. And yeah, don't listen to people that tell you that you need to become more outgoing or that you need to be less sensitive or that you need to uh, be more social or people-pleasing or that you need to be more proactive or goal-oriented or anything like that. Don't listen to people who say that. Find instead ways to be natural to yourself because that's how you free up the most energy in yourself, the most passion in yourself, the most motivation. And that's also how you get the most balance and the most decisiveness, the most trust in your own ability. The biggest ability to execute and to get things done properly. And INTP playing out their life as if they were ESFJs or as if they strive to become ESFJs will find themselves puncturing themselves. The ESFJ <laughs> subtype is the breaks of the INTP. Still, something amazing happens when we go into flow. And when we go into flow, what the, the amazing thing is that every other component about us tends to somehow flow naturally. When an INTP has a strong perspective, a strong mindset to understand the world, that is also when they are be able to be the most outgoing and the most present in the moment. When an INTP has uh, the strongest uh, thinking and perceiving, the strongest ability to correct and to fix and to make sure everything is working smoothly, that is when an INTP is also going to be the best with people. And when the INTP is the most creative, that is also when they are going to be the most structured and the most <laughs> best at adhering to lists and to order and routine. Finally, there is one thing, one big thing that all INTPs need to seriously fix. You need to get better at being on time. Seriously, why are INTPs always on time? That is my only problem with INTPs. That's my only issue. Why are INTPs so bad at being on time? That's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video.